The Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering Biotechnology refers to the use of biological processes, organisms, or systems to develop products and technologies that improve human life and the health of the planet. Genetic engineering, a subset of biotechnology, involves the direct manipulation of an organism's DNA to alter its characteristics in a particular way. Together, these fields encompass a wide range of applications, from medicine to agriculture and environmental management. Importance and relevance in modern science Biotechnology and genetic engineering are at the forefront of scientific innovation, driving advances that are transforming healthcare, agriculture, and industry. These technologies enable precise modifications to biological systems, leading to breakthroughs that were once thought impossible. Their relevance extends beyond the lab, impacting global issues such as food security, disease prevention, and environmental sustainability. Overview of the Development of Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering The development of biotechnology and genetic engineering has been a journey of discovery and innovation. From the early days of selective breeding and fermentation to the advent of molecular biology and genetic manipulation, these fields have evolved rapidly. The introduction of recombinant DNA technology in the 1970s marked a significant turning point, paving the way for modern genetic engineering and its diverse applications. Evolution of Biotechnology Biotechnology has ancient roots, with early applications including the use of yeast for fermentation and bread and alcohol production. The 20th century saw the emergence of industrial biotechnology, characterized by the mass production of antibiotics, vitamins, and other biochemicals. The discovery of the structure of DNA in 1953 by Watson and Crick laid the groundwork for molecular biology, leading to the development of genetic engineering techniques. Milestones in Genetic Engineering Key milestones in genetic engineering include the creation of the first recombinant DNA molecule by Paul Berg in 1972, the development of the polymerase chain reaction, PCR, by Kerry Mullis in 1983, and the advent of CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology in 2012. These breakthroughs have revolutionized the ability to manipulate genetic material, opening up new possibilities for research and application. Influence of historical innovations on modern practices Historical innovations in biotechnology and genetic engineering have shaped current practices by providing the tools and knowledge necessary for advanced genetic manipulation. The transition from basic recombinant DNA techniques to sophisticated gene editing technologies has expanded the scope and precision of genetic engineering, enabling applications that address complex biological challenges. Key concepts and techniques DNA sequencing and analysis DNA sequencing involves determining the precise order of nucleotides within a DNA molecule. Advances in sequencing technologies, such as next-generation sequencing NGS, have made it possible to sequence entire genomes quickly and cost-effectively. This capability is crucial for understanding genetic variation and identifying genes associated with diseases. Gene editing technologies CRISPR-Cas9, Tollens. Gene editing technologies allow for precise modifications to an organism's genome. CRISPR-Cas9, a revolutionary tool, uses a guide RNA to target specific DNA sequences, enabling the addition, removal, or alteration of genetic material. Collins, transcription activator-like effector nucleases, are another gene editing technology that uses engineered proteins to achieve similar results. Recombinant DNA technology Recombinant DNA technology involves combining DNA from different sources to create new genetic combinations. This technique is used to produce genetically modified organisms, GMOs, therapeutic proteins, and vaccines. It is a foundational tool in modern biotechnology, enabling the manipulation of genetic material for various applications. Cloning and synthetic biology. Cloning involves creating genetically identical copies of an organism or cell. Techniques like somatic cell nuclear transfer, SCNT, have been used to clone animals such as sheep, dolly, and pets. Synthetic biology combines biology and engineering to design and construct new biological parts, devices, and systems. This field aims to create synthetic life forms and novel biological functions. Applications of biotechnology and genetic engineering. Medical applications. Gene therapy. Gene therapy involves correcting defective genes responsible for disease development. This technique holds promise for treating genetic disorders such as cystic fibrosis, hemophilia, and muscular dystrophy. By delivering functional genes into patient cells, gene therapy can restore normal function and alleviate symptoms. Personalized medicine Personalized medicine tailors medical treatment to an individual's genetic makeup. 
Genetic profiling can identify specific genetic variations that influence a patient's response to medications, enabling more effective and targeted therapies. This approach aims to improve treatment outcomes and reduce adverse effects. Drug development. Biotechnology plays a critical role in drug development by enabling the production of biopharmaceuticals, including monoclonal antibodies, insulin, and vaccines. Genetic engineering techniques are used to create genetically modified cell lines that produce these therapeutic proteins at large scales. Agricultural applications. Genetically modified crops. Genetically modified, GM, crops are engineered to possess desirable traits such as pest resistance, herbicide tolerance, and improved nutritional content. Examples include Bt corn, which produces a bacterial toxin harmful to insect pests, and Roundup Ready soybeans, which are resistant to glyphosate herbicide. Pest and Disease Resistance Biotechnology can enhance crop resistance to pests and diseases by introducing genes that confer protective traits. This reduces the need for chemical pesticides, promoting sustainable agriculture and reducing environmental impact. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.